What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Tech Apprentice. Uh, today it's going to be a quick update about this little guy over here which is the Denver uh, 5040W action camera. If you have not seen my unboxing review about uh, this camera and cameras that look like this one you can go and check it out. This, this camera has a magnetometer in it to automatically rotate the image when the camera is flipped 180 degree. But when I did my review, I found out that the sensor is very glitchy. And even when the camera is upright, sometimes the image would rotate automatically for no reason. What I did to fix the issue is that I removed the sensor. To do that, I'll show you how to disassemble the camera and where is supposed to be the actual sensor. So let's do this right away. Let's remove the four screws and I'll show you how to disassemble it. If you break the camera, I am not responsible for that. You decided to actually did proceed with this mod and I am in no way responsible for you breaking your camera. So I've removed the four corner screws and you just push uh, well, yeah, one thing I forgot is that you need to remove the cover that protects the SD card and the, um, the USB port. So I'll remove my SD card right away. Remove this cover, you just pull on it and it should pop right off. Now you just hold the plastic housing and you push on the back and there you go. Now you have the actual plastic housing and well the camera itself. Just be careful because this is the Wi-Fi antenna and you don't want to break it. Small wires over here for the buzzer and the speaker and you have a ribbon cable that connects to the main board for um, the camera, the, well yeah the sensor itself to connect to the board. There is a screw right um, there is a screw right over here that you have to remove. And there's another one behind the Wi-Fi antenna. So if I move this, there is one right over here. Yeah, just right there. Now that you have actually removed the two screws, uh, you have to find some way of lifting the whole thing. I usually just pull gently on the wires and that's it. Once the camera is disassembled like this, you gently pull on the battery because it's glued there. The sensor is located on this board over here and it took me a while to actually figure out which one it was. But it's that little Thing that is supposed to be there. Uh, I'll flash a quick picture of the sensor removed. I've actually cut the, the sensor with some flush cutters and it just ripped right off and it didn't break anything around it. Once this is removed, you can just put the camera back together and it's gonna fix the rotation issue that the camera has. As I said, if you decide to proceed with uh, this modification, I am in no way responsible if you break the camera. It worked on mine and I can use it and I have no issues. But if you decide to proceed with the modification and you break your camera, well, it's your problem. I'm just getting this out there for people who have this camera and wants to use it properly, well, they can do it. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you like what I do. If you have any question, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And that's it. Have a good one. Ciao.